In this lesson, we're going to be talking about while loops. While loops run until a certain condition is met, but it is important to note that while loops will always run at least once. We will create a basic VI which runs with a short delay. An indicator will display the loop iteration, and the program will stop when a button is pressed. Let's place a while loop on our block diagram. We can select the while loop from our structures palette or from the quick drop menu. Click on the block diagram to place the loop. Now drag the mouse to size the while loop. As you can see, there are two terminals inside the while loop. The blue terminal is the loop iteration terminal. It tells us how many times a loop has run starting at zero. The other terminal is a loop condition terminal. A while loop will run until the condition is met to stop it. If we right click on the condition terminal, a menu will appear. From here we can select how we will control our loop. We can select stop if true to stop our loop when a boolean is true, or we can select continue if true that will only continue running our loop when the boolean is true. Let's create a stop button to stop our loop. This can be done by right clicking on the condition terminal and selecting create control. Now we want to create an indicator for the iteration terminal to display the iterations. Right click on the iteration terminal and select create indicator. Finally, we need to add a delay from our timing palette to limit the CPU cycles used by our code. We will make the delay 500 milliseconds. Now when we run our code, our numeric indicator counts up as our loop iterates. And when we push the stop button, our code stops. In this lesson, we learned about while loops. We learned that once started, a while loop will run until a specific condition is met to stop it. A while loop will always run at least once.